Hello and uh, welcome to this tutorial. Uh, glad you found the time to watch it and uh, I hope that uh, having concentrated on this for just uh, a few minutes you will be able to uh, write cell diagrams, work out EMF from uh, redox potentials and combine half equations to write an overall equation. And I think in this question which is about hydrogen, oxygen, fuel, fuel cells it's the writing the cell diagrams which is the main focus. So the question here, use the following data to write the cell diagram, work out the EMF and write the overall equation for the reaction of a hydrogen oxygen fuel cell in alkaline conditions. Here we're given some half equations, two of them with oxygen, uh, two of them with hydrogen and uh, there's our uh, electrode potentials. Our difference that we've got here is uh, some of them have got H plus and some of them have got OH minus. So uh, we've been given four half equations uh, but we only need two to write out a cell diagram, so we need to ask which half equations do we need? Well, the question says in alkaline conditions, so therefore if we can see any acid around, then uh, we're not going to be having those ones. And there's acid there as well, so we're not going to be having those ones. So we'll be using those two half equations. And a convention which you need to know, or you know this in several ways, but it's kind of taken as red. The more positive electrode, that's positive in terms of the uh, voltage there, will proceed in the forward direction. Uh, and this is reduction. We know reduction is gain of electrons. And it goes on the right in the cell diagram. So using that, we can see that the uh, oxygen one here is more positive. So that is the one uh, which will go in the forward direction. Uh, it is reduction because you're gaining the electrons. And we'll put this on the right hand side of the cell diagram. Similarly, uh, we could then immediately say that that must be oxidation and we'll put it on the left hand side. So uh, let's have an oxidation and a reduction part here. So th for the oxidation, which is going to go on the left hand side, we're saying that these two species, we're saying that hydroxide and hydrogen, they become uh, H2O, water. And over on the reduction side, we need to say that uh, oxygen and water, they become hydroxide. And this is sort of how you can think about this. But then we need to turn this into a written version. So here, hydroxide and hydrogen. So we can just write it out as it is there, really. So 2OH minus AQ plus uh, H2 gas. And we put that in a square bracket and then a comma to say that this becomes the uh, water. So the becomes H2O. And we do include this stoichiometry. So that there will be will make the basis of our, our left hand electrode. Over here we need to say oxygen and water, so just exactly the same as it is in the equation up there. Because there's more than one species we put it in a square bracket becomes hydroxide. And that will be the basis of our right-hand electrode. OK, so I've just tidied it up a bit here. The oxidation is uh, that there. So it's the hydrogen and the hydroxide becoming the water. And then we've got these things are those things. They become the water. We're putting in this uh, electrode here uh, because we need to join this up to a, uh, to a wire and to a voltmeter. And uh, over on the reduction side, it's just this uh, side there, there's a red, there's the ox. We're saying that the oxygen and water become the hydroxide. There's the oxygen and water becoming the hydroxide. 
So we could sort of read it like that. And similarly here, hydrogen and hydroxide become water. So to put these together, we're simply going to put that one down there, put this group down here, and then in the middle there, we'll have our salt bridge. And that's the cell diagram, and that's done, and that's that part of the question. OK, we need to work out the EMF. So the EMF, uh, we're going to take the more positive electrode and then reverse the sign of the other electrode. So that comes out as positive 1.23 volts. So to write out the full equation, I suggest rewriting the more with the more negative electrode reversed. So that's this one here. So uh, I've written out the more positive one just exactly the same there. And then I've written this one out with everything on the left, uh, which was on the right and vice versa. And then that means that uh, I can uh, double up this uh, bottom equation here so that the electrons will cancel. Double everything there. And then we've got four electrons there, four electrons there. So I'm going to group all of those things together, which will give uh, our left-hand side here all of these things together. That will give our right-hand side here. And you can see that the four electrons on each side will cancel. Actually, there's some other things which cancel. The hydroxides cancel and uh, some of the waters cancel as well. So we can write it out more simply like this. And uh, this looks, it looks right. It looks like a, a hydrogen oxygen fuel sh cell should look like. OK, so uh, to summarize here, to write the cell diagram, the more positive electrode will proceed in the forward direction. That is reduction, gain of electrons, and it goes right on right hand side in the cell diagram. That's a convention. Now, to write out the electrodes, this is also a convention, I suppose. If we have A plus B, that's a gas and a liquid in equilibrium, we're going to C, which is AQ then it m might be that we're going to see this is going to be the reduction if it's the more positive electrode or it could be that it's the oxidation well let's uh, start off by saying it's the reduction if it's the reduction we can read that as uh, a plus b becomes c a and b becomes c so there there's a and b comma becoming c and notice that that is written out exactly the same as it is there if it's oxidation, then we'd read that as C becoming A and B. So there's my C comma becomes square brackets, the two things together, A and B. And we have the platinum catalyst there. Sorry, it's not a catalyst, an electrode. OK, so uh, hopefully that's made sense. And if so, then perhaps you'd be able to have a look at this. It says, what would the cell diagram be for the cell with EMF plus 0.62 volts, which would occur if these two half cells were joined under standard conditions. And you're giving an uh, IO minus with H2O going to I minus and 2OH minus, positive 0.49. You're giving a chromate, chromium species, uh, becoming a chromium hydroxide. So you'll need to be thinking about which of these is oxidation, which is reduction, and how you would write out uh, these groups like this for example. Okay, that's it for now.